video, I want to tell you about a secret about what 80% of graduate students don't do, but if you do it, you're going to be so much further ahead in your research and you're going to be able to spend more time on things that you actually love doing. Before I get into it, I want to let you know about the free gift I have, which is my 30 day research jumpstart guide. It's going to help you learn your field and develop your first research project um, in 30 days. So you can get that in the link in the description below. Now, if you are getting started in grad school or if you've been a graduate student for a while, you may be stressed out about all the things that you have to do. And what most people are going to do is they're going to read a lot of papers. And if you've watched my channel for any time, you know I am not the biggest fan of reading tons and tons of research papers. But the biggest thing that 80% of graduate students don't do is they don't organize their research papers and organize their knowledge. So if you go and do literature searches, you can download hundreds of research papers and the majority of us will download them, save them to a folder, and plan to read them later. Now we may read them later, we may not read them later, but them being saved into a folder is not helping you at all when you're like, oh, I remember that a research paper talked about this or had this in the title when I was searching this one time. Now I have to go completely refine this research paper that talked about this one thing I remember. Instead, whenever you were doing literature searches or anything like that, your priority should not be finding papers to read, your priority should be organizing the knowledge that's held within research papers. And there are so many ways to organize this knowledge. And so I have a video above talking to you about my three main free tools for organizing research papers and organizing the knowledge within them. And my favorite tool for organizing knowledge specifically is Notion. And so you can watch um, this video above about my Notion literature organization template. But basically what that allows me to do, if you're using Notion, it's a free software, I can store every research paper as basically a, a database entry. And then I can put in whatever knowledge that research paper has in it that I know I might need to recall later. And what that does is makes research papers easily searchable in my own language. So if you use something like Zotero, which I also highly recommend using, whenever you have it in Zotero, even if you have the PDF in, if you search that PDF, it's not going to be in your own language, right? It's going to be in whatever they wrote. So you may have a hard time finding research papers because they're, you don't know the words to search for what that specific research paper was trying to say. Or maybe you're trying to learn your field and you want to catalog where all of this different knowledge is and who made strides where. And so instead of just reading papers and highlighting papers and having stacks of printed out papers or just a bunch of papers highlighted on your computer, you want to organize that in some way that you can easily find information in the future. And so checking out these free tools can help you do that. These free tools like ResearchRabbit, Zotero, Notion can all help you develop an actual complete picture and organization of where all your papers are and what all the papers in your field are saying without spending the hundreds of hours of actually reading it. Because I can look at a title and an abstract and I should be able to know what contribution that paper is making to my field. I can very quickly scan a paper and figure out what are the main things that I'm interested in. Or when I'm asking a specific question, when I'm going to the literature to find a specific answer, when I find that answer, I want to make sure that I have stored where I found that answer and the answer I found from it. So that it's not just, okay, I know my answer now, but 
I know my answer and in the future I can easily come back and find that answer again because I have it all organized and laid out in a searchable way. And that's the biggest thing is making sure that whatever you're doing is going to be searchable in the future. So having handwritten notes is great, but you want to be able to easily in the future when you go, okay, I remember a paper talked about the mason Chomp equation. Where is that at? Okay, I don't need to remember specifically what paper did it if I have in my notion this paper and then as one of its tags, I have the mason Chomp equation. Now when I search in my notion, that's going to come up and I can easily find it. So the main goal, if you want to get faster at reading research papers, faster at looking at the literature, is to prioritize organization over just reading, uh, over just like getting the knowledge into your brain. That's not going to be near as important as organizing the knowledge. And if you make this switch to prioritizing organization, you may find that when you go in to read the literature, you're going to be a lot more organized and it's going to be a lot easier to read literature because you're not really reading it. You're organizing and cataloging information for you to use in the future. And if you're just getting started and you don't know what papers are the best to actually go read or how to start organizing all of this information, download my 30 day research jump start guide. It's really going to help you move through all the steps to start learning your field and organizing all of this information down so that you can then create your first research project. I hope this video has been helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.